are at uh, Derry Airport and just on the way to check in for the flight um, and nothing really else much more to tell. So we travelled over yesterday, I uh, got on flight at Derry, um, first time I've been in a flight in about probably 3-4 years, it was a lot smaller back then, um, got on the flight anyway and the inevitable strong woman, strong man thing, you had to ask for a, um, what do you call it, a seatbelt extension, it was a little embarrassing at the start, so I got Michael to um, ask for it for me. Um, it was grand then whenever I got settled and I realised that you know I have to remember myself I am doing this for a reason and um, being uh, big strong and beautiful for a reason and um, not just from a strong woman for me um, so anyway uh, got then to the train station the train station was absolutely fine held up a couple of times but hey ho it's the train station at the end of the day I uh, got the hotel and then we just went to Asda and here we are today um, all ready to go for UK's um, strongest woman and the uh, UK's strongest man eliminator. So it will be all fun. We'll get to video in some um, of the girls and the boys and get interviewing some of them. Um, we'll see what they have to say. And of course on the way we had to stop at Dinky Donuts to get some donuts and a coffee before we got there. Uh, so we arrived and this is the warm-up area for the women and the men. As you can see there is a deadlift platform um, and some weights and there's some tyres and that in the background and some chairs for them all to sit on and it was an absolutely cracking day. Really sunny. I'm just recording yeah. just to get myself settled in. <laughs> just to get settled in. Just to get settled in. <laughs> yeah. oh, give me time. <laughs> oh, my friends went, let's go for spa day on Tuesday, that'll help you relax. I was like, no, let's see. Lashes? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god. I got to the lashes go and she was like, what the fuck have you done? Yeah, don't go They were about like There's three lashes. Terrible on. places. <laughs> yeah, lashes. And you just go, oh no, you don't swim anymore no, because... I, I don't like, swim anymore because of my eyelashes. Yeah. Which is also... A the girls are down as well. Uh, so oh, they're absolutely yeah. buzzing. They're so excited. Oh, it's like, Tracy here? Is Tracy your friend? No, um, Connie. My friend Connie's oh, here. Yeah, so yeah. Tracy's got... She's got... Um, open studios like she does her own jewelry and stuff That's so she's got me kind of doing that this weekend so what? you excited yeah yeah he's loving that isn't he oh yeah so he loves it honestly he could i said oh i said you've got nanograms for the weekend if you want you just look to me no <laughs> <laughs> have none of it yeah no way <laughs> he loves you he's coming oh he does office. we did um me and sam did our first lot of reffing last weekend right oh. and it's competent we both burnt we both cut in cold sores because we burnt it was so hot there and we didn't realise that we would be so heavily involved. I thought I'd be taking scores mm. or doing a clicker. Yeah. But they had this dray thing, pushing it back and forth. I think there were 60 competitors. We had to run with a dray and guide the road. I was fucking knackered. <laughs> I swear to God. I'm, I'm, I'm 54, oh, mind. I was, like, <laughs> I, can remember, I was knackered, honestly. Oh. But we, we both burnt. Sam burnt on the back of her neck and ears oh, were peeling and all that. I'd be sore. But I said to Ollie, I said, oh, you don't have to come. And he's like, that. Oh, I'm coming, I'm coming. <laughs> but all day, he's like, do you want a monster? And he's running to get the monsters Aww. up the bar. So he loves <laughs> to spin that weekend. He does, he loves it. Stretching the hamstrings. Stretch back, stretch back. I always feel like if you pick up to... I'll put that back and get the rubber plate, because that's lighter. The rubber 20 is always lighter, isn't it? Oh, you can't convince me otherwise. Yeah, it feels like That's good. <laughs> yeah. I haven't got you on the camera yet, missus. <laughs> Got to do with the planets aligning. How are you? Are you ready to go? I'm ready. <laughs> ready and rare? I'm ready. <laughs> you need to get some time. Uh, <laughs> I need an axle because I can't stand up because I'm fucking tired. I don't get my knee through. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I need to warm up some more. <laughs> um, I'm going to warm up by having some. <laughs> 
Do you come over here, we get the boat over and I was like, 350 pounds? So, yeah, it, it's expensive. The whole, the, doing this sport is expensive. In general, yeah. Uh, it is expensive, like with comp fees, like travelling, training, yeah. and everything. And then the and then, the clothes you yeah. get, <laughs> and then the clothes, <laughs> no. all your kit, oh, it's really? like, yeah, it is a I nightmare. Think but, um, are they better than These are all right. I prefer them to Metcons, because yeah. Metcons give me blisters. Oh, if I had mine for like over a year, and I still kept getting blisters. So I just... So, how do you really feel when people ask your height and weight? <laughs> I get so annoyed every time. It's like the first four or five questions I ever get on a on a story post when I do it. It's so annoying, but um, I yeah I don't really get the obsession with it. Yeah. I just don't ask. <laughs> I'll not ask you to wait. <laughs> I want to try and get more involved in the ladies thing now. The first year I ran UK I was had 15 girls. I was like, Jesus. The next year I had four. Well, what's happened there? <laughs> Tigers and the tenders there, yeah. it's it's, it, I set people off to feed this. Ah, so between okay. the North, Scotland, uh, women, novice men. What was your song? All of them. Just um, <laughs> Man Out of You from uh, Mulan. Love oh. that song. That gets me hyped up. <laughs> Any Cardi B? Or anything like that? Oh, Cardi B. Cardi B, ah, yeah, yeah, you can't miss Cardi B. Love yeah, Cardi B. Disney songs. <laughs> Disney songs, Disney metal songs. There's Cardi B, Beyonce. Yeah, Beyonce. There's loads. But Babysitter, athlete manager today, making sure the girls have everything they need, making sure they're happy, making sure they're ready to go, and everything was like clockwork. And I want to ask you, but you've got a lot of athletes in here, so um, I don't know whether or not to ask you, but I'll go for it anyway. What, uh, who do you think will be in the top three? Oh, <laughs> you've got to go with Donna Moore, the experience, the CB, three times world strong or something. But also we have relatively new, extremely talented athletes like Lucy Underdown and Annabelle Chapman. And we've also got the current world strong or something, Becca Roberts. So it's going to be really tough battle between those four who's taking the podium.
are you getting on so far? Good. Really, really enjoying it today. Um, worst event well, for me, the worst event over, thankfully. And this is your best event now coming up? My favourite event. Favourite event? Favourite event. Favorite favorite event. event. Yeah. yeah. And but where are you sitting? Do you know where you're sitting? Are you even you don't, not bothered? I don't know with that, after that dumbbell. I don't think anybody's really... You really care, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just hoping for the best now, just Yeah. Um, and... Are you hitting all your goals? I might have my goals. Yep, like that. My aim was the moment was do better this year in Paris and the Dutchess and the Dutchess. Happy days. And was there anything different from the tariff flip this year to last year that you? No, just doing do properly this year. Yeah, just last year was kind of like a one hundred percent. Then we'll see how this year actually. So. And are you, are you enjoying the atmosphere in there? Yeah, that's that's hell. Really, really yeah. And can you hear your mum and all? That is your mum, isn't it? Yeah. Can you hear your mum and all shouting? Oh, <laughs> your mum and dad's here. Have a day. Good, good. I'm thinking, yeah, between 15 to 18 reps. I'm thinking. So yeah, I'm not the same. It's very similar to what I'm on. It's my one good event. I've got to win that one. Uh, Jenny, what's your role as a coach on competition day? I guess providing things <laughs> so I know exactly what the athlete needs to hand for each event and I kind of have that so they don't have to go looking for it um, advice on on the spot advice but I mean generally they should have rehearsed all of this in training and I guess that's the deeper aspect of my role as a coach on comp day to know that they're better prepared coming into the event because they've done all of the preparation um, they don't really need me, I'm just here for a bit of moral support and <laughs> physical support holding their stuff. What's it like? <laughs> What's it like coaching the world's strongest woman? It's pretty cool. I mean, she's a very easy client to work with. And, and you're not just saying that for the camera now? <laughs> absolutely not, no. Like, I mean, everybody that's spoken, you've interviewed her yourself, you know, you, you've gotten to know her and she's she's very easy to get on with yeah. in general and she's very that makes her very coachable. Um, she does as I ask of her, she's always got questions coming at me, she's always got suggestions um, for programming and she's just smart at her sport. Um, successful people, like success leaves clues and you know, it's not a coincidence, it's absolutely nothing to do with me why she's as successful as she is. It's because she's a student of her sport and she's always looking at ways to improve everything that she does, all of the events, you know, there's no stone left unturned. She's got somebody dealing with a programming. She knows who she can go to for like a kick up the arse, which is <laughs> my old boss, Jack Lovett. You know, he coaches her through um, event specific coaching and he gets a lot out of her. He gets a lot of, of energy from her. Um, a, a covered nutritionist, she's, she's got programming. She's got her events coach and she's just, yeah, she's focused. So she has a coach for nearly every kind of different aspect. Pretty much them. she's got every everything covered oh, by yeah. somebody. If she can't cover it herself, she's got somebody else dealing with it. It hasn't always been that way, but majority of the time, yeah. It just takes a lot of the thinking away. Mm. And personally competing, having programmed myself versus being programmed by somebody else makes life so much easier. So you can just focus on what you're supposed yeah, to do. Definitely. Um, I love working with her and yeah, she, she makes my job very fucking easy. Oh, how did her pre how did Donna's prep go? For this specific comp, yeah. I mean, there hasn't been a dramatic amount because there's a deadlift, she always deadlifts. Um, the most that she's really ever practiced for this is the circus dumbbell because that's the one that's going to catch people out, you know, it's awkward, it's an awkward shape, it's a big fat grip and it's, it's pretty heavy. She's worked really hard at that. Um, She's been preparing for it for about, what, five weeks, six weeks since we knew the event. Um, and that's pretty much as far as it goes. We haven't peaked specifically for this because I don't think that it really needed a peak. Um, yeah, it's, they're, they're all generally really good events for her. She's brilliant with dynamic stuff like the, the tire flip. She's just, you know, like stones. Yeah. She was built to lift stones. She's built to flip tires. She's never been bad at it. Touch wood. <laughs> so following UK's, we've got England's, um, which is competing in the 82 class. So we'll be moving straight on from this to preparing her for England's. But again, that, I don't believe that that's going to require her to put in a dramatic amount of effort because she is insanely strong for that middleweight class. How did she find him dropping the 82s? Um, she's found it 
not that much of a challenge to be honest. She's uh, from what she was saying on Yeah, Instagram, and like her nutritionist Matt, he's he's works brilliant with her. He's um, and and previous to him working with Vicky Masita, uh, she's just she's just very coachable. Yeah. And she she does as she's asked, and it's it's all just cool. Like she hasn't made it hard work. Well, it's been a gradual decrease. You repeat yourself because that's good because. There's consistency going Absolutely, on. yeah. Consistency is the key. It, that is yeah, it. Yeah. Success leaves clues, and it's yeah. and it's rehearsal. Yeah. It's rehearsal, yeah. rehearsal, rehearsal. Do it everything exactly the same. Like yeah. if you expect to get better at a specific event, you need to make it exactly the same in warm up, oh, in yeah. loading the barbell, in your max lift. They should all look exactly the same. Yeah. It's consistent, yeah. and the same rules apply with your diet, with your sleep, with your daily routines, with your lifestyle. Yeah. Um, that is that is the key. It's consistency. Yeah. And away is yeah, he's not going to make that. I'm preaching to her. <laughs> yeah. Because I, 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 I've grown since he's had learned. Right, okay. Consistency of diet keeps yeah. me well. Yes, so absolutely. I'm, I'm reliving consistently so that the same rules apply. If yeah. If you keep yourself healthy, if you're going to be a top high class athlete. That's it, man. Same. Your, um, who is your top three for, for UKs for today? Um, I'm going to go with Donna, Annabelle, Rebecca. Yeah. Reasons? Um, <laughs> They're the best. Yeah. <laughs> That's grand. Um, perfect. Hello, we update. Um, the day is going as smoothly as possibly can be. Um, the girls have done their first event, uh, the event, the tire flip, um, and Rebecca Roberts is first. Or no, yes, first. Donna is second, and. I think Lucy's third, and um, I could be wrong. If you haven't guessed, I was trying to flip the men's tire. This weighs 300 um, kilos. Um, it was a bit of a challenge considering my deadlift is only about 160 at the minute, um, but it was a bit of fun um, whilst I was waiting on the girls coming back. So far, I'm um, okay. <laughs> good. Um, are you having fun? Yeah, yeah, a lot That's more good. fun than I thought. I think the crowd was nerve wracking, but I uh, enjoy it actually. I'm sure you probably eventually get used to that as well because this is your one of your first big comps, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different. <laughs> and you doing Scotland's next week as well? Um, I'm meant to be, but I can't get up to my daughter's. So Ah, well, yeah. yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, so comps. there's always more comps. There's, yeah. there's always other ones the rest of the year around. Like. Yeah, yeah. So there is. Um, let me think what else. Can't think of anything else. How are you, like, where, where are you? Are you even looking at where you are in the uh, line up and stuff? Or no, I messed up a bit on the tire. Lost my, my hand place on the tire and then didn't press the bells. The tires are a wee bit different, aren't they? Probably yeah, yeah, yeah. to what you sometimes train like with. Chunkier tire. Ah, uh, like, this one's quite. Um, just made a difference. Should have been easier. I think. I just make a most of though, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's fine. Yeah. Looking forward to deadlifts. Did you hear them screaming for you in the background? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah plenty of them, yeah. <laughs> Happy days. I've just done a really massive tire flip. <laughs> I know. Well, I was. See the mark, yeah, I know. It's when they try and do an interview with you and you're like, hit, went, really? Well? <laughs> yeah, I never understood that at the Olympics. Yeah. When they went, like, and I'm like, I go, like, nine. Yeah. But yeah, it was yeah. really, really So, good. how did you go? I went really fast. I was really fast and, and it flipped <laughs> and I did a good job by <laughs> any water. Is it you, you spent all those years at university just to ask that question? Ask that, yeah. Go <laughs> on, Donna. <laughs> oh, right, I need. So you finished it, no bother here? Yeah, I got it, got finished. You don't know if, like, because I, I, when I push it, I try and, like, shunt it as I it's to going. Give it a wee bit more distance, yeah. yeah, so I'm not having to, like. So if you can get even half a flip out? Yeah, exactly. So. Which actually helped because when I got to the end, it was like that much yeah. over. So I didn't have to do like the final flip, which was nice. It was only I did one, it anyway, but one way. Yeah, just one, one thank way. Thank God. Oh <laughs> God. Was it last year they wanted to do both ways? Was it last year both ways? No, just one way. One way as well, actually. Yeah, yeah, but that that was a lot easier that tire than last year. So. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in first place at the minute. There's one more heat to go. Uh, Donna's going now, so hopefully. 
at least the top two in this event. Hopefully the win. Let's see how Donna does. Yeah. Cool. And what's up next? Next up is the dumbbell. The dumbbell. Woo! So that'll be great to go out yeah. in the last heat on the dumbbell and know what to do. Yeah. So that's the main thing. You just get to go in and watch as well while you're doing it? Do you not? No. Oh. So like we're just like listening off the grapevine. But it'll be fun. Yeah. Now time to start warming up for it. <laughs> and then you're doing the OSG qualifier as well, aren't you? Yes. Yeah. Yes. We got a um, kind of first of its kind. Top three go straight through the world. So hopefully it's going to bring out well, the lineup is incredible. And you know to be able to hand the girls their trophy and their official invite to Wiltshire or something. Cool. So it'll be a proud moment. And is like um, everybody allowed to enter those or like uh, do you have to qualify to qualify nope, it's for a that? Complete, it is a case of if you have the guts and the talent then by all means earn your ticket to Wiltshire or something. And that, that's what we wanted, we didn't want it closed off, we wanted it really open to everyone, you know, from 13 years to 80 years old. Yeah. If you've got what it takes you can take part. Fantastic. Did you have fun out there Sam? I did, yeah. 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 How'd it go? It was easier than last year. I finished it this year. <laughs> Oh, fantastic. Always positive. Eh? Good time? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> I'm not a clue. That's, that's good. That's <laughs> Naive as anything, mate. <laughs> yeah, just get, get, get the event over and get... Yeah, I will find out. But yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'll okay. find out when I... Uh go out in the next door, do I expect when I... <laughs> That's always I, a good indicator, isn't it? If I go out first, I lost, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. What was it? <laughs> Let me hear that Irish accent. No negativity. <laughs> <laughs> I like my... I like my... I like my... No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know any No, no. <laughs> it's so serious all the time and then having to switch yeah. to being um, a competitor and actually performing it's, it's difficult it's like i'm not a natural performer like i just can't i don't know how to i didn't think i knew how to please a crowd or anything like, uh, i love when as soon as as soon as you go out there if it actually just comes quite naturally it's like oh this is good this is fun it's lovely to see people supporting each other and that's and that's it so yeah. you end up feeding off of that energy but yeah it's hard to switch between my job role and then this <laughs> yeah it's so difficult so even whenever you're training do you kind of can is it do you have to get into a certain mind space before you start training? Is it different to a competition? Obviously it's going to be, but... I find it a bit difficult sometimes to really switch on in training. So I'll train on my own a little bit and then I train with a few other people, but it's actually, like, you can't imitate something like this today. And then um, it's only really when I did this last year for the first time that I understood kind of what was expected of you when you do come out at these events. And, and then when I did the deadlift at Milton Keynes, I think that just gave me the biggest boost in the world because I think that's the first time a crowd, I think I've felt that energy from a crowd. Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's difficult. It's a difficult task. Yeah. <laughs> Are you, how's Sarah getting on then? Doing really well. Yeah, Doing good, really good. Well. Meeting everything that she, she's planned out so far? Uh, excellent. Yeah, happy days. So the tyre we haven't trained, she had COVID for a couple of weeks. Dumbbell she's been really struggling with, so it's just mainly just not listening. Um, but she's the same as me, she always outperforms in comp. So like, she'll do say two reps or something in training, she'll do ten in comp. So yeah. she always outperforms. Yeah, that's the main thing, isn't it? Yeah. Um, who do you think will be in the top three of the of the woman? Um, yeah, it is, yeah. Lucy, I think, will win the deadlift. I think she'll do quite well on this. So I think Lucy yeah. first. And then. Eight. I want to say Donna. How'd you get on? I got four hit. reps, which is a huge so Fantastic. Now, so. Especially under all that pressure, and the dumbbell was named after Donna, and I had to go next to Donna. So, <laughs> <laughs> very, very pleased with that. Good. Good. <laughs> oh, I just couldn't get that.
How are you getting on so far then? Yeah, anyway? Not bad. Um, tired really well. Done well, not, but then didn't expect that to anyway. So. Thanks. Don't listen to that. Looking forward to that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you having fun though? Yeah. Feeding off the atmosphere? Yeah. Totally. Enjoying the crowd? Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. I just hear the kids. My kids are here. So oh. Them, yeah, you, you're tuned into the noise yeah, though. So your own, are your own people, aren't you? So cool. Um, okay, strongest woman. Who is your three top for the podium? Oh, <laughs> it's got to be the girl from Wales. Rebecca Roberts and Donna Moore. I think Lucy's up there as well. Yeah, yeah okay. they're phenomenal athletes too. They are um, in, 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 incredibly experienced on a more. I'm um, just yeah, four times world's strongest woman. Um, so she's leading the way with the experience. But these the young girls coming through, with Rebecca and Lucy, are phenomenal. Um, they're at next level, which you can see uh, top of the devil. <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> just just about to take over. Um, brand new to the sport as well, which is really scary, but it's great to watch from the crowd, she gets an amazing reception. The worst thing is she does it while she's smiling, which is really scary. Um, <laughs> I can't imagine when she actually switches on, it's even worse, I mean, for the other athletes, yeah, but yeah, they're my top three. Um, there's no insult to any other athlete, but I cannot see it being beaten. Yeah. Cool. And how do you find that watching from the sidelines, not competing or anything? It's tough, like yeah, it's twitchy you? and it is really twitchy, I'd love to get involved. <laughs> I got show I got shows coming up but yeah. so obviously the winner of this is gonna try and take that title off me late this year. Um, but God loves a tryer. Um, I ain't letting that title go until I'm done with it. <laughs> I'm not joking, this is a great competition. Yeah. A really tough. That the dumbbell was causing problems for all of them. The guys can press more than that, but with Glenn making it awkward as ever handles about this big <laughs> but it's been a great show um, it's really awesome to watch but yeah just itching to start competing again now good when is your next time oh it's uh 20th of may um oh it's the world's strongest man yeah yeah so. the worst thing yeah how did you forget that god thing uh, it, yeah <laughs> yeah world's strongest man sacramento and then it's, it's literally on to the next one after that straight away the week after is the uk strongest man where i will cool. be coming for my third title are you flying out a few days before words yeah, we fight on the 20th and we don't compete, I think, until the 24th. That's probably what I'm allowed to say, actually. You, know, you, can't, you can't give nothing away about the world. Like, I know. Yeah, so I fly out and I have you know, four days of just social media sort of stuff, relaxing, chilling, getting used to the heat. You have a day in the boneyard to set the kit, a day off, and then it's uh, ready for war. Who are you looking forward to going out to train with the most before Worlds? Um, they're all great guys. You get you have to go out with your group. So when you go out on the boneyard, if you're in group one, one to five, oh, yeah, that's yeah you go down because you're not allowed to you're not allowed to see other people on the kit. Oh sort of thing. right. Yeah. So, yeah. So you're that's like the catch, is it? Yeah, yeah. It is. It's, it's super secretive. It's, it's like where the mind games start being played. Um, but it's an amazing show to be part of. And it's my third time out there, and I'm, I'm going to do my best to bring my title home. Amazing. Thank you very much. Just watching the best in the world. Right, yeah. I'm just going to say, it's so good. Did you know the temperature? So I just yeah, it's really good. Oh my gosh, it so great. Yes, I, I could, but do you know what was confusing me? I could hear Martin going, oh, Annabelle's getting all the reps in there, neck and neck. And I was like, what? Have I got to keep going? <laughs> no, I'm not going to. Oh, you can still get silly when the next person gets eight. Yeah, I know, I do. I didn't need to do that many, but you know, it's a show. It's a show at the end of the day. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I gotta take the wins when I can do them. So. Many did you get better? I got ten reps. Ten reps. Yeah. My first time repping two hundred kilo for ten. So. Oh really? Yeah, I'm really good with that. Yeah. Change my shirt. Sam, are you happy with yours? No, not really. No. Uh, <laughs> many would you? Many were you aiming for? Well, I, I didn't really know. I, I've done five at 210, so um, I, I was hoping for a few more, but I, I've got to take everything to account. I haven't trained for months or weeks, so you know, it is what it is, yeah. which is now my favourite saying, it is what it is. Um, yeah, it's free. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Could have been bad. It's always next year. <laughs> yeah. And sure, what you've got, you've competed at OSG and you got third there, so... Yeah, so like that's one yeah. of the big, big comps. Yeah, third at OSG, and then to come here, you feel like under pressure to perform, <laughs> and I think that's what's 
harder is like oh. the pressure to perform because you're third in the world, you know. And, but yeah, but to be fair, like, that's third in Masters. This is an open. Yeah, problem, yeah, it? that's Masters. This is open. So I, I came ninth in this last year, so I, I've set my goal as higher than ninth, you know, and, and I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> we forgot your lines. I forgot my lines. <laughs> Jesus! Are you uh, hitting your goal? Are you hitting the goal of, you know, being <laughs> higher than ninth this year? I think so, yeah. yeah. I, I think the deadlift I've just slipped down because there were a couple who got six um, and four, so I've slipped quite a lot, I think, in the placings. But I think I probably might get a bit of that back on the stones. But you're so. Yeah, you're really good at stones. Yeah, so. yeah, I should get three of the stones, I think. Yeah. So I shouldn't bank on other people not getting them, but at this point, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry. It's a proud wife. Very proud. Yeah. Always really proud. It's so <laughs> nerve wracking, though. I actually prefer to compete than watch Sam. I, I would prefer to be in her place. I hate it because I, I worry so much that she's not going to do well and she always does well. So always pulls it out the bag. And would you, why are you not competing today? Um, I didn't do the Welsh qualifier. I've got quite, a, quite an injured knee at the moment so I didn't even attempt the Welsh qualifier. Um, I'm, I'm a bit sick of beating her on the deadlift to be honest so <laughs> give it a turn in it. <laughs> What's your favourite event of today? Deadlifts, the deadlift, definitely, yeah. yeah. I was dying to get up and just have a little quick pull on the, on the deadlift, so. <laughs> I was surprised you didn't do, oh, you're still injured, weren't you? I am injured, now? I got a bad knee, you yeah. Can't, so. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, I got a scan in a couple of weeks now, so we'll know what's going on a bit more then. Yeah, memory. MRI. MRI, yeah, yeah. Only thing is the NHS, we wait so long, I've got to pay private, so. But I just need to know what's going on so I can either fix it or retire. Yeah. Hopefully you're not retiring. I hope not. No. hope not, yeah. I've got world records to do yet, so. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ah, so she was saying that last year, wasn't she? Yeah, yeah. I remember you saying the same thing last year. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> like 2018 or 19, she was going to retire then. <laughs> But you know what? If I say I retire, imagine the comeback. Yeah. Comeback queen. <laughs> You'd have to change yeah. your uh, Instagram name then to the comeback queen. Yeah, the comeback queen, yeah. <laughs> yeah, kind of old, kind of back. <laughs> how did the, the stones go then, Donna? Um, I think pretty good. The last one was kind of rooted. Annabelle and I both said it was really dusty and. Um, it's it's really quite large in diameter than the normal 145 Annabelle and I just did 145 kilo last weekend with no particular problem so we were expecting that it would be no bother yeah I managed to on one motion the first two so Shan how did they today go for you then I'm pretty happy overall I came six um, I didn't really have any expectations going into it because I've got a big comp clash in um, two weeks time my focus was just to get through it and see if I can do better than last year which I have done my main focus was the deadlift on the stones because there's more carry over to clash with that and I hit a PB on deadlift getting 200 for six stones kind of went okay but I smacked the head on my head on the barrel on the 100 and got a big lump <laughs> and couldn't see on the 115 I was going really dizzy but I had three attempts at it and got it pretty much on the edge so I'll class it as a triple PB <laughs> yeah brilliant and um yeah, you've already said you've had all your goals for this week, so... Yeah, yeah. The um, final event, car hold, I wasn't really going to go all out on it because I didn't really want to hurt myself um, yeah. for the comp, but I knew what time I needed and I couldn't get any higher as long as I beat the people before me, I stayed in sixth place, so that's what I managed to do and I'm pretty happy with that. Brilliant. And what's your aim then for Clash? Win it. <laughs> <laughs> happy <Of> days! <laughs> How's your war wound? It's fine. What, what happened, yes? I smashed it on the barrel in the stone, so... <laughs> Did it land on it? It just, when I lifted up, it battered into it and fell on top of it. So, oh. so good. And how did it go as planned? Very well, yeah. Fifth, I think, overall. So Fantastic. So I come fifth next to four of the strongest women in the world. You can't really grumble at that. So, yeah, yeah, I'm Definitely happy. Not. Are you all ready for Scotland now? Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> it should be good. We'll see yeah. how well we recovered after this. But yeah, hopefully yeah. it'll be fine and that'll be us ready to go. Really? So that's on Saturday, so just a week of recovering and dumping. Yeah. Ready to go again! Yay.